Yo, it's your boy, Master Aubrey, back at it with another live video for you brothers and sisters. I hope you niggas are tuned in, listen. Yes, it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> Sorry about that, just dropped my headphones. Topic of this video tonight, well this evening, is the bigger agenda behind gender wars. Now, I see a lot of posts on my Facebook. I see a lot of you niggas and bitches in your fucking emotions right now. And we got to talk about this from a spiritual standpoint because I don't think y'all niggas are seeing the bigger picture. So I'm going to explain it to you guys, nigga man style, so you brothers and sisters could see somewhat eye to eye. Can you not see the bigger picture going on here? Can you not see, since the beginning of this year, they've been promoting rape, they've been promoting pedophilia, they've been promoting abortions, they've been promoting transgenderism, all kind of isms. Can you not see the bigger picture here? What did it say in your scriptures? What did it say in your scriptures? It said that in these later times, which is the end times, it will be just like in the days of Noah. Now, let's go back to the scriptures. What happened in the days of Noah? There was the same shit. It was um, niggas um, slicing different animal parts and creating a whole bunch of new hybrid beings. That's the transgender movement. They're trying to get rid of sex. Look at the fucking apps that you got on your phone now. Now they got a new app that you could change your face to look like a female if you're a male. And you could look like a male if you're a female. That's fucking confusion. And that is the same shit that was going on in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. And what happened in those days when God got angry with man because a man was just in his reprobate mindset. We're in end times. And if you guys thinking that you're not, look at your TV. Look at your news feed. Look at the shit that's going on here. Y'all complaining about which gender is the best gender. Motherfucker, the gender is getting rid of all of you niggas. The agenda is getting rid of both men and women. And I'm going to say this like straight up. Because I'm red pill as fuck. If you guys don't come together as a people and see the bigger picture and try to do something according to what the scriptures say. Get right with God. Then there's nothing you niggas could do. Because y'all try to march. It doesn't work. Y'all try to do all this conscious shit. It still don't fucking work. Y'all try to do all these different things. Y'all believe in other people as your Lord and Savior instead of the Messiah, which is Yeshua HaMashiach. For some of you Christian folks, you know it is Jesus Christ. Christ pl plainly said it in the scriptures. These end times will be just like the days of Noah. And I'm sitting here and I'm scrolling through my news feed and I see all these niggas and women in their feelings and emotions about abortions and all this shit. And you guys, when you're caught up in your emotions like that, you're not seeing the higher agenda of what the elites are doing to us as a people. They want us against the opposite sex. So they want you women to fight against us men and they want us men to fight against you women. And it was not like that in the beginning of time. God created man and woman to be heirs of the earth. We supposed to dominate this fucking planet. Y'all niggas in the conscious community like to say, yo, we gods. But I ain't seen no God tier level shit with y'all niggas. I'm going to keep it real. Because every time this nigga put out a, 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 another agenda or he's promoting his agenda to demasculate men. And to make women more masculine and, and, and kill babies for no cause, no reason. He's promoting rape. He's telling y'all, y'all don't have no consent over y'all bodies anymore. But y'all not seeing the bigger picture. You see, this is how I know that you niggas are not truly conscious. And I truly know that you don't have a, a personal relationship with God. Y'all forsaken the most high. And y'all could get mad at me all you fuck you want. But I'm just a messenger. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it a buck. The reason why I be going through this is because it was already prophesied. And another reason why we going through this is because we have hardened our hearts to the ways of the Most High. And I've been getting a lot of visions for the last couple of months on 
what's going to really happen. This is just touching the iceberg of things, man. This is just the beginning. It's going to get worse. I'm telling you guys and ladies, it's going to get bad. So brace yourself. God said in his word, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Now, y'all can take that literally, or y'all can take this esoterically, however, you, whatever level of spirituality you niggas is on. Please understand that we have the power to change this reality. We have this power, which is the power of the Most High that dwells within us because he says the temple is the, he said the body is the temple of the Most High. The body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit dwells in us. We are the chosen people, black people. We're keeping it above. We are the Hebrew Israelites. You understand? There's 12 tribes, so there's different, there's different people all over the world. We are the children of Israel. And I want to know, are you guys willing to do right by the Most High? Even though you know that you're going through a lot of shit? Or are you continuously buying into the agenda of the elites and getting upset and getting in your emotions and getting in your feelings about things you have no control over because you really don't have no power, black people. I'm just going to keep it real with y'all. Y'all need to hear that. You, you, you masquerade as you has power because you've been reading too much books. You've been entertaining too much gossip. You've been entertaining too much philosophy. And you're not making this philosophy a reality. And the reality is staring at your face every single day when you go on these news feeds. Mm -hmm. The reality is staring in your face every time you guys and ladies go to work. Reality is staring in your face every time you see one of your people get gunned down in the streets. Your, the reality is staring in your face when you hear about your sisters getting abused in the street. The reality is staring in your face when you see one of your own people get killed. Wake the fuck up. Wake the fuck up. I, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm beyond disgusted with niggas. I don't even try to be on this shit like this because it hurts my spirit. It really do. To see my brothers and sisters going at each other's throat about laws that you have not even created, but the government done it. So you niggas could be at odds with each other and say a house divided upon itself cannot stand. So how are we standing as black people in this society? How are we standing? How are you even being respected if you don't even have no respect for your goddamn self? Please tell me that. Get right with God. I don't care if you guys talk about, oh, I don't read the Bible, but you better start. You better start. If you got a brain in your goddamn head and you can read and write, you don't need to go to church to read the scriptures. The scriptures has nothing to do with religion. I know you niggas been conditioned to think that. I know you niggas been conditioned to think that the Holy Bible, the scriptures in the Bible relates to Christianity. Because that's what the elites want you to believe. And that's what the elites been trying to program you niggas in slavery with. The Bible is not the problem. Religion is. The scriptures is not the problem. Christianity is. Because as much as y'all niggas say y'all Christians, for you Christian motherfuckers, y'all do a lot of unchristian shit. Y'all say y'all not in the world, but y'all do a lot of worldly shit. That's why I can never get down with that. See, me, I read the Bible every day. I listen to the word every day. The word is spiritual food for my spirit and my soul. I would hope that it would be the same for you brothers and sisters who listen to this. And I'm telling you, look, when you read the Bible, you use logical common sense. I understand that the book is contradictory because there's a lot of stuff that contradicts each other. But when you ask for the guidance of the Holy Spirit to guide you into all the truth, meaning not just reading the scriptures or the Bible, but reading any other book, anything that you do in life, you ask God for his input because he says his ways is not your ways. His, his ways is greater than ours. So he sees ahead of the game. He sees 5, 10, 15, 20 years in the future. 
when we only seen today, we only dealing with what was what's going on today. We see a news feed, something on our news feed today talking about abolishing laws in, in another state and oh, we could do whatever we want. Y'all niggas getting caught up in the moment. But that moment is like any other moment. That moment is going to be fleeting. That moment is going to go away. What about the next day? What about later on down the future? You guys who got kids. Your kids got to grow up being confused. Mentally. Physically. Sexually. It's fucked up. Because I remember 10, 15 years ago, it was never that bad. I'm not saying it was never bad. But it's not as bad as it is in this in this time is sick. And the simple fact that they're forcing this down your kid's throat. This is one of the reasons why I don't want no fucking kids. I'm spearing my unborn child the 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 suffering that he will have, he or she will have to endure in this goddamn place because I don't want my kids growing up, if it's a girl, being confused that she thinks she's some other motherfucker. And a, a, a dude thinking that he's a motherfucking girl. I, I don't want that. I don't want that for my kids. I'm being honest with you. And y'all niggas will say, oh yeah, my kids can be whatever they want. No, motherfucker. If God created your kid to be a, a boy, then that's what the fuck he is. Now, if, you're, if God created your child to be a girl, then that's what she is. You can't get mad at God for being God. God created all things. And it seems like the more y'all niggas got a beef with God, right? It gets worse and worse and worse. And God gave you a clue in Leviticus. He gave you clues in Deuteronomy. He gave you clues in, in, in all these other scriptures in the Old Testament. Because I know a lot of you do say, oh, we don't fuck with the Old Testament. We fuck with the New Testament. Fine. You believe whatever you want. I am not Christian. I am not religious. I am a spiritual teacher. I study all walks of life, including Christianity, all that shit. So I study everything. And I can tell you from my understanding and my wisdom and knowledge and what I study on my own, added on with the information and the knowledge that the Most High Bestowed upon me. A lot of these mythologies have similar characteristics and themes. It's always a savior. If you read the Voodoo, you read the Yoruba tradition, the Orishas, it, it is, a, is, a, is a Christ figure in there. You read Greek mythology, it's a Christ figure in there. You read Egyptian mythology, it's a Christ figure in there. So at some point, common sense will kick in and say, yo, that... Whether you choose to believe in Jesus Christ or not to believe in Jesus Christ, there is a Messiah. There is a Savior. And outside of that Savior, there's no redemption. There's no salvation. You could choose to believe that or not. I'm just a messenger. Because y'all try to do it every other way. Y'all try to play God and it's not happening for y'all. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't saying I'm the one. Because I'm not. I ain't saying I'm Christ because I'm not. I'm saying I'm your brother and I, I have fucking common sense to look at this shit and say that, yo, y'all niggas are being too caught up in the here and now about shit that you have no control over because the powers that be, the 1% of motherfuckers that run this goddamn planet, have you niggas in sleep mode. And they are always doing experiments to see and get a reaction out of the people because that is the way of how this society functions. You're a fucking battery. They told you this shit in the goddamn movie The Matrix. When Morpheus told Neo when he first got unplugged out of The Matrix, you're nothing but a battery. Every time that you niggas get into your emotions... You are giving up free energy to this illusion, to this matrix. If you didn't need a savior, then it wouldn't have no reason to write about a savior. If you dudes didn't need to be saved, 
You feel what I'm saying? Then we want to have all the stuff that we have right now talking about being safe. Y'all looked at Nipsey Hussle and RIP to Nipsey Hussle. Y'all even looked at him as Jesus Christ. And that's crazy and absurd. And I give the man respect for what he did in the community. I'll never take that from him. But when you niggas are so lost, the blind leading the blind, to come to that conclusion that because he did for the community, he's on the same level of Jesus Christ. You see, your thinking is fucked up. And it even said it in the scriptures, they will arise false Christ. That they will fuel the very elect. And I'm not saying that Nipsey Hussle said that he was Jesus Christ because he never said that. I'm saying that the agenda of creating false deities, false Christ, is being promoted every single day within the black community because black people are blind to the truth or what truth is because they are hardening their hearts against the most high and God has left you niggas to a reprobate mind so he make you believe whatever you want to believe because you have heart in your heart. See, I'm going to speak from my personal experience. I can't speak from nobody else's. See, when I stop hardening my heart towards God, because I had a vendetta with God too, just like all you niggas that got beef with God. I hated church. I still hate church. And I have a perfect reason for why I hate it. I hate Christianity. Even if I read the Bible every single day, I hate that shit. I'm keeping it real with y'all niggas. I'm, I'm coming on y'all level and I'm talking, I'm talking real. I'm talking real deal shit. I believe Christianity fucked this up. I will agree with even the conscious folks that say that shit. Christianity's bullshit. Yes, it is. Anybody who's a Christian should get out of that shit. I'm not telling you to stop reading your Bible. I'm telling you to read your Bible away from the church. I am telling you to read your Bible in the comfort of your home. I'm telling you to have a personal relationship with God based on your own free will and free choice and ask God what is really going on in this place because it's getting sick out here. It's getting bad out here. Niggas want to be bitches. Bitches want to be niggas. Niggas want to be both. I mean, what the fuck? And if anybody that's watching this shit that's into that lifestyle... Hey, that's your fucking lifestyle. But when you promoting that shit and pushing it on other people who have different beliefs, we have the right to believe in whatever the fuck we want to believe, even though you may not agree with it and you forcing your, your lifestyle on us, I have a problem with that. I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't care if you niggas is gay and y'all like dick in the ass. That's personal and you can do whatever you want. If you're a woman, you like kitty cat, punani, hey, knock yourself silly, sister. I am not telling you what to do. I am not judging you. I'm just a messenger. But now, when you have an agenda which promotes this shit every single day to not only me, but everybody else and, and niggas who have kids who are fertile in the mind. Who have just come into this world. They're trying to figure out who the hell they are. They haven't even developed a mind yet. They look down their penis or their vagina every day. And they like, oh, I'm a guy. And the woman looked down her shit. She said, I'm a girl. And now you got the TV telling you, if you don't want to be a guy, you could be a girl. And if you don't want to be a girl, you could be a guy. You could be whatever you want. And the shit don't line up with reality. I have a fucking problem with that. Because niggas saying I was born gay. And niggas are saying I was born a, a, a woman in a man's body or some shit. Listen. That is a mental illness. Just like any other mental illness in society. It needs to be diagnosed and be cured. That's nothing to be celebrating, nothing to be proud of, and hold parades for that shit. Your lifestyle is your lifestyle. I ain't getting at you for that. But when you are promoting this shit to other people who live a righteous lifestyle, who live by natural laws of this universe, 
and you're promoting that shit to us and our fucking kids, I have a fucking problem with that. And I don't care if you flag this goddamn video. I just got to speak my mind on it. Because I'm just tired. I'm just tired of seeing this shit every day. Now, I ain't saying I'm Mr. Perfect. Because, nigga, I've said it so many times in my video. I'm far from that shit. I told you, niggas, I like sex like any other man. I'm a sex addict. I like fucking every single day. If I could do that shit every day, I'd do this shit. So I'm not coming on here to judge your lifestyle. I'm just saying your lifestyle is not conducive to the society as a whole. You can hate me or love me. And when your, when your lifestyle is promoted in a way which forces people to accept something that they naturally do not accept because it's not natural. I have a fucking problem. When you are forcing me to accept something I do not not accept naturally, internally, because I have the divine soul in me, the divine soul that came from the kingdom of God, right? A cosmic being. And you telling me I must accept this shit or I, I, am, I am promoting hate speech and hate crimes and shit. You're out your fucking mind. Matter of fact, you're the goddamn terrorist. <laughs> You're the goddamn terrorist promoting this shit to force it on people who don't believe in that shit. If this is a if this is a country that be, that stands for freedom of rights and freedom of speech, then we have the right to say what the fuck we want whenever the fuck we like. If the world don't like it, and fuck it, because I'm going by what you guys say. This is the land of the free, and this is the land of Freedom of rights. Should you take away the rights of gay people? I don't. I'm not knocking them for what they do. I'm just telling you niggas. Y'all need to keep that under wraps. I'm telling you not to push that on straight men and straight women. Who want to live righteous and live by natural laws. And live by divine laws. I'm a natural man. I live in a natural land. And I, I live by divine laws. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for nobody because you niggas is too emotional. And that's the fucking problem with this goddamn society. You niggas have become so effeminized. You don't have no logics. And I got to say this to my peoples. Y'all, y'all think with emotions instead of thinking logical. When it's time for you to be in your logical mind, it's so foreign to you. When it's time to use your critical thinking, you can't think for yourself. I'm being honest. Thomas, I'll give you, I'll give you like three different examples where I saw for myself looking on my news feed that you dudes who say that you conscious and that you deep. Don't have no sense of critical thinking. You just jump on the bandwagon because everybody is saying that. And you don't sit there to learn how to distinguish your feelings and emotions from facts and reality. And that's a fucking problem. And that's why I always say you guys got to learn the spirit of discernment. Because Nipsey Hussle's death in his case was going on for like two weeks. And I watch all those podcasts, all those different things, and everybody's opinions. And everybody has a similar opinion. And the people who are against certain things, they were called conspiracy theorists. But those people who were called conspiracy theorists were actually people who were actually using their common sense. Who was actually not trying to buy in to all the bullshit propaganda that the agenda of what these elites have in store. They were actually using their fucking brains. But I guess... In this society where you think for yourself and you think using your logics, it's a problem. And that's why I said there's always an attack against the masculine energy. Because logical thinking is masculine. To use your logical mind is to be in your masculine frame. To be in your emotions and be illogical and be fantasizing and want the world to be a certain way because that's how you feel about that. That is feminine. This is going to call it for what it is. It is what it is. So, 
Where is the balance between the masculine and feminine? They're trying to demasculate men so they be more effeminized and they're trying to get women to stop being feminine and be more masculine. And when you take a man out of his natural state of thinking and a woman out of her natural state of thinking, it's corruption. It's degeneration. And this society is, a, is the modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. And I'm going to leave it at that. You guys, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. Trolls will be blocked and deleted. I already know I'm going to get heat for this video. But I don't give a fuck. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Y'all know how I do in all my videos. And for those who don't know that I get down like this, well, this is the first time. Welcome. For those who are new to my page, hit that dumbbell. Become a subscriber today. If you love my videos and the content that I provide, hit that description tab above. It will link you to my Cash App account. Whatever you choose to leave, that is fine by me. And you brothers and sisters, have a good night. Peace.